How's it going, guys? Tyron here, and I just finished watching the latest episode of Black Clover. Why can't I remember it? I just honestly just watched it. But anyways, so I'm glad now our their new arc has started. So not like uh I wasn't I wasn't this satisfied with the last arc. I was actually pretty impressed and happy because there was a lot of really great things. Uh, but we're moving forward now, and now they're going to this underwater temple. Uh, and this episode kind of takes this, a, a strange, uh, strange. Bleh, why can't I talk? A strange turn. So it's it's a little bit more comedic, um, but it's a it's a, a nice smooth transition because you know we got all this like treachery from the last few episodes and action so now we're just kind of getting back to the silliness and its comedicness and i'm like okay it's kind of like taking it back a little bit just to calm yourself down uh because then once the action starts hitting up again it's gonna be you know amazing and, and I, I and you know you have to just take it like that but there's a few fun scenes like noel with vanessa trying to pick out a a, a swimsuit that's pretty fun um not much to say there but just some shenanigans happens there. Um, everyone at the beach, that's really amazing. Um, it's uh, Asta and fuck, what's Magnus's first time seeing the ocean? Um, or them saying they first time seeing the ocean. Um, really fun right there. Um, what else? Uh, overall, just some really fun shenanigans that happened out there. And uh, uh, I can describe it all, but it's really just fun scenes of them enjoying it when they should actually be trying to be figuring out what the next part of the mission is um the only thing i will note is there are those scenes where uh two things one noelle is trying you know she's being her uh so, so, fuck i can't remember how to pronounce this correctly so being herself, her personality. I forget that archetype name, or I can't remember how to pronounce it. It's like Sudare. I think that's it. But anyways, she being her and trying to show Asta her swimsuit. You know, when all this stuff is happening around Asta. Um, to where the our our comedy relief character. I can't remember his real name, but he's the Buha guy, and he just comes in and everything kind of impels on him um but then it kind of gets to a serious point uh towards the end um this is where it's gonna uh, for me it's a little bit more interesting because it was fun you know everyone just being at the beach and everything um but now after finding some no uh information yami or yami finding some information out is that that to get into the um, to get into the um, underwater temple um well since the area that they're at is rich in ma um, mana or yeah mana uh it was explained that that's why it's kind of warm and like oh okay it's just strange effects and stuff but it also affects the currents and everything and it's like crazy and apparently the night of a full moon the magic is kind of dimmed down kind of you know messing with it and like okay that's you know okay i like this lore but the only one that can help them go through this is Noelle, since she's the only one who has water magic. And we know that Noelle can now control her magic. So now, it's it's really up to her to, to quote Yami, surpass her limit and, you know, can learn to control it. And then, you know, they can get their safety. So because he did mention, he does state that if, she was not able to do it and they're down there they will all drown so yeah it's uh it's intense um the last thing i will note are um let's see here like at the end when they're like uh noelle's training on the night of the beach and asta shows up also training they hear this girl singing uh out so we get introduced to this new character that's going to be uh part of the next this arc and we'll see what ensues. Um, it seems it's going to be probably an episode or two, maybe, maybe one episode of this training montage as they get ready for the water temple. And we'll see what happens there. 
uh, because there's a lot um, still. Uh, the Midnight Sun is still plotting. There's still a traitor among them, and uh, yeah. So those are kind of it. Those are my thoughts for this episode. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it with that. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, see ya.